I went ahead and used a couple L brackets with some set in T nuts there and then I have uh, so just regular zip ties on there and that actually works pretty good to hold the router it's not perfect there is flex here as you can see I was thinking about using some metal ones here the ones that have the screws that you could tighten up the screw that might pull it in a lot tighter okay in this video we are going to mount a router onto the aux and this is just a quick and dirty router mount that I want to use the uh, Bosch Colt router and the idea is to strap it right to these cast corners, inexpensive cast corners. The cool thing about this is you could put another one here and because they have a, an oblong shape there, they're adjustable. You know, if these weren't here, you could put this on the uh, center track and mount a different size tool. Like for instance, a Dremel or something like this. You could see how once it goes in there, the strap goes around it it's held in place. Okay so what you're going to need for this part of the build are four of the drop-in T-nuts, eight millimeter screw, and four of the cast corner 90s. You're also going to need two 11 inch zip ties. And the idea here is, I'm just going to put this through the hole here, I've already measured up from the bottom here an inch and an eighth or a little less than three centimeters. I just turn this off to the side so that the wire can go back here. If you come down low here, you'll see there's no reason for this collet here to go below this bottom plate because you'll never be cutting lower than the collet. So I've already measured this up. And what's nice about doing it this way is it allows for you to get the maximum strength from this machine because the whole pull on the router will be up here closer to the wheels and not hanging down low here. So that's where we're going to mount it. So let's go ahead and put the screw into, into the cast corner and we're going to screw the, the drop-in T-nut on the back. Now I've only turned it a couple times because if you take your screwdriver you can kind of manipulate this. We're going to put it in the track here and you have to kind of work this because if you look behind here you'll see that it it does pivot all right now looking here you can see that we can loosen it a little bit and adjust it out which is exactly what we want to do and you don't have to over tighten those but that is what you're after and this will give us a nice angled area to put the router against now I'm going to put this on a couple clicks there I'm going to fish this one through. Okay, so now I'm going to set the height. I'm just going to look under here. All I have to do is line up the base of the router with this cast corner. Tighten it down. Bring in the big boys to pull on it. Go ahead and snip these off. there it is okay so there you have it and if you check across the plate you can see that we're below the collet just just below the collet which is exactly what you want and that's a quick and dirty router mount for the ox hope that helps